Hello everyone, I'm Susanna. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to show you how to crochet this kind of very small amount of yarn and with uh, let's make coffee sleeves, that coffee cozy or uh, jasmine stitch cuffs. It's very easy and it's very quick project. I want to explain slowly and if you are a beginner for jasmine stitches, I want to explain how to move the crochet hook and how to move your fingers. This is very simple design. It's buttoned. So look at this. Like this. It's very small and it's very easy. So if you feel a little bit uh, cold on your list so please wear these listers it's very pretty and it's gonna be a dressy and if you have simple sweaters or simple uh, tops and so you can use this like accent so please enjoy this is coffee sleeve a coffee cozy this is this can be used as a bracelet so it's the same but just a difference on the side of the buttons it's a, gonna be a less warmers or coffee cozy okay so let's get started This is the leftover yarn of the uh, neck warmer cowl of the last project. So when you feel cold on your hands or on your wrist, so I would like to make a cuff. It's very pretty, so please enjoy. And I'm sorry, I'm after recording, uh, I'm recording after the videos published and this is Japanese and so sometimes I am catching up the words so it's it's not a real time. And today I want to use the 4.0mm hook and it is a quite larger hook when you crochet just me stitch but if you feel it's too large please use a smaller hook. And today I want to make the cuffs very soft cuffs, so I'm gonna use larger fig. Okay, let's choose the color. So I'm gonna use a beige, light beige. Okay, please make a slip knot. After making slip knot, please chain one and please hold the chain one and make another chain and after that please pull the second chain like a knot the reason why I do it please uh, because I want to use the first chain so the last time when I make the cowl I ask you to pull longer but today just uh, one inch is enough And today I'm gonna make a puff stitch, two times puff stitch. And then yarn over and insert into the very first stitch and yarn over Dolo apple loop. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, draw apple loop. Please pick the apple loop of the chain and the draw apple loop, okay. And please hold yeah, with thumb and middle finger pick the pick the yarn on the middle finger this one this one pick and 
strap a loop and make a single crochet chain one and pull it and the one inch and yarn over insert draw up a loop yarn over insert so you can see the hole in this hole and draw up a loop and some and middle finger from left to the right yarn over pull through all okay and pick the yarn on the middle finger yarn over pull up a loop and make a single crochet okay chain one so when you make the foundation power stitches please adjust your size I'm gonna make eight but it's up to your size okay pull the fabric and hold the thumb and middle finger okay and then the yarn please do not uh, please don't forget to pick the yarn on the middle finger okay single crochet chain one pull it out insert yarn over pull up a loop yarn over insert please use your thumb on the right hand so please hold all yarn yarn over so please move like this so pull up a loop to the original position so always make uh, the same tension and yarn so please look at the top of the head yarn over okay and then pull through please look at the pull the hook it's the hook is the uh, face down the back is smooth but hook um so it's so please make the hook face down okay then make a single crochet yarn over uh, make a chain and pull like at one inch <coughs> pick the yarn so please you can see this hole in the hole insert yarn over so the always face down and to using your list and back to the original position so <coughs> please back to the original position so that you can make the same tension half stitch and hold all yarn on the thick and using other fingers and the thumb the tulip is very smooth so it's it can be moved like this you can move like this so please look at my thumb and add four fingers and insert yarn over pull up a loop to the, the original position so using your list so it's a kind of uh, action moving action and please you use your thumb and middle finger on your left and the yarn over okay look at this the face down hook is always face down face up is no face down and insert uh, pull through all so it's very smooth so this yarn this one so when you use the middle finger it, it's very easy to hold the yarn to pick and make single crochet okay one more time chain one pull it a little hold the yarn with your thumb so please hold the yarn and yarn over and next yarn uh, please hold the two yarns and move only hook insert yarn over pull up a loop and back to the position 
and using your thumb and hold all yarn like this. Please hold with your thumb, light thumb. And please move the hook. So please use your four fingers and move the hook into the forward and yarn over and pick the yarn, draw up a loop to the position and hold every yarn with the light thumb. And with your left thumb and middle finger and yarn over and the hook is always face down. Always face down. So pull through very easily. And pick the yarn on the middle finger and make a single crochet. This is a tip to make jasmine stitch very smooth and very easy. It's very easy. Okay, like this. So please look at my hand movement. Okay, please look carefully how to move the hook and wear face down or face up or always face down and pull through. It's very smooth. Okay, now finish the foundation stitches. So let's check the length. So when we pull it out, uh, when don't pull it like a six more than six inches, and let's check my wrist. Check out my wrist. Okay, good size, isn't it? Okay. And then let's make a cuff. Cuff is in the lows. So we need additional stitch. This is the top. This is the bottom. This is the sign of the chain, like a V chain. This is the bottom. And chain one, pull up. Okay, so please make a puff stitch as like before. Okay, let okay let's okay. This is the additional stitch, and then let's make a jasmine stitch in the next row. Okay, so please look carefully. Chain one and pull up a little, yarn over, insert the top of the additional stitch. So please make two times puff stitch and hold the yarn. And usually we make the puff stitch, but we don't finish in completed. Okay, let's make just me stitch. Yarn over, hold the yarn. This is the standing, so please move to next stitch. So this one is the horizontal part. And let's make the legs. And into the next stitch, skip, skip, and this one, insert, yarn over. Insert, yarn over, pull up a loop hold everything hold all the yarn insert yarn over pull up a loop maybe i forgot to count how many i may so too much yarns on the hook yarn over so move to next stitch insert and over pull up a loop yarn over insert pull up a loop okay how many Oh, one more time. Oh, I forgot how many. I have to make the two times power stitch. Okay, one more time. Let's do it together. So, yarn over, skip, and next stitch. 
Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Okay, two times. The two times is four loops on the hook. Yarn over, next stitch, insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, draw up a loop. Okay, four loops. So, there are three paths here. Three. Okay, so let's pull through at a time. Okay, do you remember the tip to do it using your thumb and middle finger on the left and yarn over and after that how to do it face down and pull through all okay did it here is the yarn on the middle finger and this is the yarn on the middle finger this one do not release Okay, pick the yarn and make a tight, very, very tight single crochet. So using your thumb and middle finger and make the stitches very, very tight. <coughs> okay, now three half stitches, horizontal and two legs. So let's make a horizontal chain one and pull it up. And please make a horizontal jasmine stitches half stitches okay the middle of the three stitches here okay hold on all right so we did the first one and yarn over it hold the yarn so move like this and next one it's the left of the leg and insert the same stitch so we make two stitches yarn over next stitch new stitch I call new stitch <laughs> two times okay slip puffs here on the hook all right so please hold the yarn with thumb and middle finger yarn over and face down and pull through all at a time you see do not release the yarn on the middle finger pick the yarn and yarn over pull through and please make very very tight power stitch with your thumb and middle finger and make tight a single crochet so the stitch is gonna be very tight and very beautiful okay all right, repeat. Chain one, pull up, yarn over, insert. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. Yarn over. This is the original stitch, the last stitch. This is the same, I call same stitch. The same stitch is the, the please look at the triangle and right leg and left leg so i mean the left leg is the last stitch two times and then yarn yeah, over so i call the i call this stitch is a new stitch because this is nobody used and two times so sleep puffs here one two three and then hold the yarn and yarn over face down and pull through at the time and pick the yarn on the middle finger and yarn over pull up a loop and hold a very very small single crochet tightly okay so please repeat like this chain one yarn over inside okay look at my fingers Look at my hands, look at my foot, how to move, and a new stitch. Slay here. So when you feel it's the working yarn on your left hand is too loose, and the Turkish people usually wrap the yarn several times 
So using your pinky and index finger and yarn like uh, hold like this. So hold the fabric like this and hold the yarn with the middle finger. Okay, you see, it's very really easy. We can make a tight single crochet. Two. Three. Okay, fold like this. Don't forget yarn over. Okay, three times pop stitch and fold five leg. Yarn over, pull through at a time. All loops. Okay, so please check time to time the stitch is same or tension is same or the same gauge same or tension so please check your stitches please make a same tension same size that is a point So hold like this, one, two, three. So when you see vertical, it's easy to check. Pull through all the yarn at a time. So when they're pulled, uh, pull through all the yarn, please do not uh, pull the yarn, working yarn with your left index finger. It let it go and then after that please pull the yarn with the index finger to make the tight stitch same stitch and a new stitch okay this is the last stitch I picked the two loops at the last time but please pick two loops this time so please look carefully here there is a two loops here okay so like this we can pick v chain like this one so please pull the, the end so it's gonna be easy okay three times Pull through all. Please make a tight single crochet like this. Okay. All right, so this is halfway done. Let's check the size. Oh, good size. Okay. And then, chain one. So let's make additional chain, additional stitch. Tiny work. One inch and over. You can see the first stitch here. I call this is the, the last stitch. So please make additional puff stitch here for the standing chain, uh, stitch. And chain one. Okay, let's make three times puff stitch from here. The last stitch. Then 
This is horizontal one, and yarn over. And this is the. Please skip the next same stitch. So skip here and this one. This one is the same stitch. Two times, and this one is a new stitch. So the last stitch, same stitch, new stitches, and this is a three times half stitches stitches. Okay, so please use the index finger like this. After pull through all, please pull the yarn using the index fingers and let's uh, control the tension. Okay. Oh, you can see the jasmine stitches now. Oh, it's tangling, so please forgive me to let it sink. All right. So let's review chain one pull a little using the last stitch and the same stitch and the new stitch so the new stitches has four stitches here four puff stitches and the jasmine stitches are six petals and this is four petals so this is gonna be five petals Fold the fabric like this, face down, and pull through all. And using the left index finger and control the tension, and make a small single crochet tightly. Oh, now the jasmine stitch six petals. Now five petals, so let's make it six. Last stitch. Okay. Let's control the tension, the same tension like this, using your light hand wrist. Same stitch and a new stitch. Okay, pull through all and make a small tight single crochet. Alright, so now this is the last stitch. This is same stitch. And this is the new stitch. Five petals are same stitch. One, two, three, four. Four petals are the new stitch. One, two, three. Three petals are the last stitch. Okay, chain one. Don't forget chain one. So the same stitch and a new stitch. So please repeat like this. So now tangling again. Oh, okay. Don't forget chain one and make three puff stitches together. Same stitch and a new stitch. Do you know the stitch? This this is the stitch. You can see the hole. If you are getting used to you can feel where to insert without seeing the stitch here this one so usually when you target the center oh you don't have to see where it is where it is you can feel it okay So if you have a, a trouble or issue, if you have issues to make jasmine stitches, uh, please buy two lips, classic type crochet hook. This is the best crochet hook for making jasmine stitches. It's very smooth and it's very, you know, like a uh, slippy crochet hook. That's why we can make it the jasmine stitch belly easily then the the reason why i recommend for for metal crochet hook because we need a long shaft to make the jasmine stitch okay 
so long please choose the long shaft okay this is the last stitch the same three half stitches together oh where's the new stitch here is the new stitch this one this is the new stitch so you can see the V stitch here okay this is the last stitch so let's finish the jasmine stitch makes tight single crochet okay this is the foundation of the cuff oh is that yes that's it it's, it's very easy so how to finish let's finish together chain one in the same stitch make one two three single crochet chain one so please see the center line stitch so please make two single crochet one and two and chain one Okay, this is the corner, so please make three or oh, five single crochet. One, two, three, and then this the third one is a corner, so four and five. Five single crochet at the corner. So it means the side is two stitches and the corner is one stitch. So do you remember we made the two single crochet? So corner is three chain stitch, uh, chain one and two single crochet. And chain one. And next stitch two single crochet one and two and chain one and into the next stitch make two single crochet and chain one and repeat like this it's very easy isn't it two single chain one Two single and chain one. Two single and chain one. Like this. Two single and chain one. Okay. <coughs> All right, here is the corner. So So you see the stitch here. So please make two, three, four, and five single crochet. Chain one and lapping the yarn and together and two single crochet chain one and the corner again so please make five single crochet two <coughs> so if you feel you don't like five stitches five single crochet two single and chain one two single like this so that is a five stitches so you can choose any any way okay so like this chain one or single you can choose chain one and two singles
Chain one. So let's form the fabric. Two single chain one, two single and chain one. A bit like that. Chain one. Chain one and so back to the original corner. So please make two single crochet. And don't uh, I I like I prefer seamless join. So we after incompleted single crochet, join into the first stitch and pull through slip stitch and chain one. Okay, so let's make a knot. Oh, no, 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 no. I made a mistake. I have to make a buttonhole. Oh, my God. Okay. The, <coughs> there, here is a collection. The bottom hole is chain one, two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet, chain one to fasten off. Okay, yes, I did the chain one. Okay, one single crochet. So I made chain three, but please make two single and chain two. Two singles is the same. Because that is a little bit loose, so I I did it a little bit tight buttonhole. So please uh, follow the let letters here. Okay, that's it. So please make a knot. Close like this. Okay, like this. All right. And with the end. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. So let me do it again. Okay, let's mm. hold on, please. Make a single crochet.
and then <coughs> so let's whip the end So when you sew the buttons, you can make the bracelet or cuff. Like this. Or maybe you can do like this. Or maybe you can make two buttonholes of the both sides and then you can uh, you can wear the cuffs button that is more beautiful so you can use a bracelet a tea co coffee cozy so when you want to make cuff please sew the button inside so you can use like this And if you want to make a bracelet, please sew the button outside, a light side. Like this. So it's up to you, long side or light side. So I wanted to make another one and I I couldn't finish. This is a bracelet. Okay, so hold on. I'm gonna make it. I'm an, I want to show you how to use it. So it's very small, so you can. You can keep this in the bag and so you can use the coffee sleeve when you buy the Starbucks coffee as cup cover, coffee cozy. So you can wear like this. okay this way so we can wear like a bracelet like a list warmer and you can use the coffee cozy or maybe bottle cover it's gonna be a jar cover like this So it's very pretty so you can use in many ways this is cuffs and I show you how to use the cuff this is my sweater so wear like this So the setup is gonna be a setup will be pretty if if you have very simple sweater. So it's gonna be a good accent. It's gonna be a dressy instantly. So you can enjoy in many ways. the outside too okay oh excuse me
Do you like this? So if you have a small amount of yarn, please make and please practice jasmine stitches and please make coffee sleeves or a bracelet or cuffs, sweater cuffs. So and I enjoy jasmine stitch. It's very warm and it's very soft. The puff stitch is very soft so it's very comfortable. And this is buttoned so it doesn't uh, it's very small. And this is really very quick project and so it's gonna be a giveaway or some small gift to your friends or family members. And I I like the small project these days. Okay, how how was it? Alright, so thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.